just home from the gym and you can hear my kids downstairs screaming, but I wanted to come on here before I washed my hair because I have a very exciting review for you today. If you're new here, my name is Angeline and I talk all things wellness, fitness, and self-care and how I fit it into my schedule as a mom of two kids. Now, as you know, I'm 37 years old and I have a very strict skincare routine. I'll tag my video here if you're interested, but I did recently start incorporating retinol into my skincare routine to help with my aging, trying to reduce fine lines as well as even out my skin tone. So I was extremely intrigued when up on my Instagram pop the very first hairline that that includes retinol. So today I have a review for you of the Coco and Eve Youth Revive, the Pro Youth Shampoo and Conditioner. And this is marketed as an age-defying shampoo and conditioner. So for ingredients, it does include a honey blend with retinol and a probiotic complex, and it is meant to help these signs of aging in your hair. And believe it or not, I have noticed my hair aging. I definitely am getting gray hair, which is totally normal. Still dealing with my postpartum hair grow that's coming in so I did lose quite a bit of hair postpartum and I'm just now getting all that regrowth it says formulated to help three signs of aging hair loss of shine strength and volume and I would say that I definitely noticed that my hair is lacking in the shine and lacking in the volume so definitely hoping to see results here nourishing and revitalizing for ultra shiny youthful looking strands that protects hair color vibrancy hair should be stronger fuller more manageable with a reduction in breakage rebalances the scalp for healthy resilient hair from root to tip so I'm very excited about this now this was actually sold out online so I did have to buy it as a package so I bought the shampoo and conditioner but it also did come with the scalp mask which I'm really excited about I love a good scalp mask as well as one of those scalp massagers and I already have a scalp massager I'll tag my video here um, about my healthy hair journey and how I maintain good scalp care but this scalp massager is extremely cute kind of has this little ergonomic handle on it and pretty excited about it now the instructions for the scalp massager do say that after shampooing you should be going in and massaging your scalp but I don't like love to disturb my hair too much when it's wet. When your hair is wet, it is more prone to breakage. So being really gentle with the scalp massager in the shower. Now I'm gonna use it how it's intended after I shampoo and my hair is still wet, just to massage my scalp out a little bit stimulate some of that hair growth, but you should never be too aggressive with your hair when it's wet, never brushing when it's wet, detangling when it's wet, because that's where you will see a lot of breakage. This feels so good. Now, I'm pretty excited about this hair mask because it's actually a hair and scalp mask. So normally when I deep condition my hair, I only apply the mask to the ends of my hair because I don't like the roots of my hair to get weighed down, to feel greasy because I do have such flat hair. But this mask is actually for scalp and hair. So it says after shampooing to actually apply a generous amount from the scalp all the way to the lengths of your hair and leave on for five to ten minutes then rinsing with warm water. So I'll be going through and letting you know my first thoughts and review of the product. It does have a nice honey like smell, nothing too perfumey which I love and something I always monitor when I try new hair care products if I have any breakouts along my hairline. So this is something I'm really gonna wanna be monitoring for this line because it does have that retinol in it. If there's any type of dryness or breakouts along my hairline, I'm gonna immediately stop using the product because I don't wanna be sacrificing my skin in order to have the youthful hair. Now, the reason I wanted to come on here and do the review is because when they post on their Instagram saying, you know, introducing the first ever hair care with retinol in it, the comments were bananas. People were saying, absolutely not. Would never use do not put retinol on your scalp so many different comments and i'm just so intrigued by this line that i definitely wanted to come on here and do a review for you all right so right off the bat really cute bottles not a lot of product in here it is 280 milliliters so about nine and a half fluid ounces so not the smallest shampoo bottle i've ever seen but definitely not the biggest has a really nice honey like smell really nice applicator on the bottle just a little pop applicator here so you're not distributing too much product and like i said that smell just kind of a nice honey smell nothing too perfumey so i'm gonna pop in the shower we're gonna shampoo first and then go in with the scalp massager and then i'm gonna come out and apply the hair mask 
I just got out of the shower, I just finished shampooing. Really liked the smell of the shampoo and the texture. Now, I don't know if you've ever used a clarifying shampoo before where afterwards your hair just feels really clean. It doesn't really have any slip because you know it's kind of removed all of the oils and any product buildup you had. So that's kind of the feeling that I have right now. My hair feels very, very clean. And now I'm gonna go in with the hair mask. So you would normally either go in with the conditioner, you know, if you're strapped on time, or the hair mask and this does say you can use it one to two times a week i only wash my hair once a week i could really go in with every wash on this one and to see how it feels on my hair now this is going to be really weird to me because once again when i put hair masks on i'm really just concentrating the product towards the ends of my hair but this does say to start at the scalp and work down to the legs oh this is so weird i'm just gonna gently rub it into my scalp and you can see the texture here. It's kind of that really thick texture. Just gonna apply it to the back, scalp. And now working it down to the ends of my hair. I have a lot of hair, so I'm gonna grab a little bit more product and just work it through. Now, if you saw my curly hair video that I'll take here, you know that I have low porosity hair. I like to apply a shower cap to help the product penetrate a little bit better to maybe generate a little bit of steam and open the cuticle a little bit. You could also use a steam cap if you have lacrosse here and you have a steam cap. All right, so I'm just gonna gather this on my head and apply a clip. Throwing my shower cap on. All right, I will be back in about five to 10 minutes to rinse this out. Okay, so I didn't have a ton of time, so I did just leave it on for five minutes, but I think that should be sufficient. Now I do have a very sensitive scalp and very sensitive skin, so if you're curious, I don't feel anything at all. I don't feel a burning sensation or anything like that. It feels very comfortable. It was easy to do a little bit of work for a few minutes with the mask on. So now I'm gonna go in. What's interesting is that on the bottle, it does say to rinse with warm water. Generally, I rinse with cool water to try to close that cuticle and produce a little bit of shine. But again, I'm following these instructions to a T, so I am gonna rinse it out with warm water and then I will come back here and we will see the final results. Okay, so I'm out of the shower now, did a little skincare, put my lotion on, and my hair has been towel drying for a few minutes. No, I didn't wanna say that. You probably noticed I do use a lot of cocoa and Eve products but this video is not sponsored. I just genuinely really like their products, so wanted to do a review of this new line. So yes, I do use the Kogani towel. I also have one for my daughter, just so that there's not a lot of rubbing on my wet hair causing breakage. And you've probably seen in some of my other Get Ready With Me videos that I do use the Coco and Eve hair serum. So this is the Mer Miracle Hair Elixir and it's actually a hair styler and heat protectant in one. So I like to use it. So I'm gonna go in because I am gonna blow dry so I need a little bit of a heat protectant. Now, when I washed out the hair mask, I was actually surprised because usually when you wash out a hair mask, your hair has a lot of good slip. It's very, very soft but I didn't notice that with this hair mask. I mean, it definitely removed all of my tangles, all of my knots. My hair does feel really smooth, but I wouldn't say that it has that really soft feeling you get after you use a hair mask. All right, now that I've distributed this product, I'm going to blow dry and we will come back for the final result. Okay, so there we have it. I haven't put any oil or anything smoothing in it yet. I do have naturally wavy hair, so normally when I blow dry it, it is quite large, but it's actually feeling quite smooth. I do need to put just a little bit of oil in to tame some of these flyaways, but I will say the result is that my hair is quite smooth, quite soft. Now I have a feeling that these types of products are products that you kind of need to use for a period of time in order to see results. So I will update you on how the products are working for me. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. I will say that, you know, using retinol on my face has changed my face drastically. It's even my skin tone. You know, being 37 years old, people often mistake me for younger because it has reduced my fine lines and wrinkles. So if I'm using retinol on my face, why not use it on my scalp and my hair to try to reduce the 
anti-aging of my hair as well. Now it did take me several months until I saw a change in my skin using retinol, so I suspect it'll be several months until I see a change in my hair as well, especially since I only wash my hair once a week. Using the product so infrequently, it'll take a little bit longer, but so far I'm pleased with the results. Don't feel any burning, itching, anything like that since I do have sensitive skin, hoping that I don't see any breakouts around my hairline. But I really love the idea of having a mask that I can use on my scalp to nourish my scalp without it weighing down my hair or making it look greasy. I'm gonna say that these products are a win for me. My hair came out feeling clean, feeling nourished, feeling smooth, and because it does not have that overly soft weighed down feeling, I think I'm gonna be able to maintain this for several days without looking greasy. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop them below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.